Hello everybody, you know what? I want to make an original rant video. I haven't done a rant video in a long time. And that is, I know it's this for decades now that how ugly women have become very disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the medical field, you know what I'm saying? Especially I got chronic health issues and I'm dealing with the so-called caseworkers that are unfortunately are females and sad to say are black females or women of color come at men with attitudes. And they cost me my ability to have a medical service because they refuse to help me with a particular paperwork. And because I misunderstand the paperwork and all that, I have no transportation now. And thanks to these so-called, I, I don't like come off with a video like this. And I'm not saying this to degrade no woman. But I find funny in America, they ain't got no problem degrading men. They ain't got no problem being mistress against men. And yes, this is the video talk about mystery. In today's American woman, especially in the workforce, medical field, you know what I'm saying, that they have attitudes against men. But you know what I'm saying, but you can't call them out on because you become look like a sexist or a misogynist and stuff. I find it absolutely funny. They have no problem with their mystery. I said I'm sad to even say this about sexism in America. It's much worse than racism. At least with racism, you can call a man out for what it is. You can call a man out. You cannot call a woman out. You know what I'm saying? Especially in these fields, they have an attitude against men. And I didn't I did not do anything wrong to these women. I ain't called them out in particular name. I'm just actually baffled that I'm forced to make a video about it. And sorry for all the noise the background because I got the uh window open and all that. I mean shame on these women they use, you know, their so called mystery as an excuse to target men. Just because you got an attitude does not right to take it out innocent men. You know what I'm saying? You know, and this is what the powers that be want is the gender division. And American women fall for every time, you know? It, it, it pains me to say that negatively about a woman. And I'm not even saying on oh, the grade. I ain't even cursed. I'm coming with a mature kind of mind. But in a very disappointing view. That a woman in America could be utterly mistress. You go to a workplace. You know what I'm saying? On multiple occasions, take it from me. Or you go to a particular, say, coffee shops or little restaurants here and there. Sit down restaurants or coffee shops or so. You know, to get your work done or get some studies done or just chill out. Kind. Of. I notice how these women look at me. They look at me like a problem loss. And I, mind you, I don't come in them like that. I say, hello, miss, how you doing? They look at me like I'm scum or dirt on the street. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, I'm, I'm being conservative, so I'm not out here viciously slander or even cursing. But I find it funny. These women have no pol they, they ain't apologetic for nothing. And I'm drinking a beer because I want to get this beast out the way. You know what I'm saying? I want to get this in in inner beast out of me. And it, it, it upsets me to make a video about this. Dealing with mystery. A mistress woman that have no problem slandering or just look down upon men and say, for instance, I, I do have a disability or so. And I did admit to these women, I do have a disability. And look how they look, view men with a disability. It's awful, you know. I say, why don't you help me with this particular paperwork? And I mean, I need help, but they refuse to help me. And I answer to the best of my abilities. I made a mistake on my end or misunderstand on my end, so I admit that. Somehow now they refuse to help me. Now I'm having horrible medical services. Now I can't go to my doctor's appointment because I don't have medical services, medical uh, transportation no more. And the ones they do have, they got like a free day mandatory kind of rule. So I can't see the doctor the same day ever again. Thanks to these so-called feminists. You know, yes, feminists. I have no respect for feminists. You know what I'm saying? And I had to watch my tone because I'm in them start promoting it and my music and I can't come off like this kind of note. But American, you should be ashamed of yourself to look down upon men. You much worse than a racist. I'm going to say in this regard, call me what you want. Black men and men of color. I have more respect for the KKK than the feminists at any day. At least the Klan are honest. You know, it, it's utter disgusting. And I, I deal with this all the time. How these women view men. Especially all kind of, you know, like, especially if you try to be courteous. You know, you ain't trying to screw these women. You ain't trying to holler at these women and all that. Because, you know, you did it's being common courteous. But it seems like they don't know how to, you know, reciprocate that. You know what I'm saying? 
is morally baffling how these women are ugly disrespectful in this country. I, I, I mean, like, ugly disrespectful to the man. And yes, I'm coming off like this. Ladies, you should be ashamed of yourself if you're a mistress. If you have a problem against men who's taking care of you, who's helping you, who appreciate you, guess what? I, I'm going to come off as a jerk. I will give these feminists that. Eventually, today's men after me are going to be complete degenerates and savages. They don't care about these women's rights. You know what I'm saying? And I unfortunately, I deal with feminists myself. And I, I, I don't want to come off saying like this, but I have no respect for the meter. Call me what you want. Unfortunately, I'm just, you know, I wish I could say with my real peace on this matter. But I had to keep it conservative, you know. Because I know I'm being watched. So that's it. If you woman or mistress against men, shame on you. Especially in the medical field. You know what I'm saying? You should not be discriminatory against men. You know, who's fixing your streets. Who's fixing your pipes. Who's helping you do errands. And that's how you talk to a man. Shame on you. Yeah, I'm calling American woman out. Or Western woman out late. How dare you look down upon men. They had the moral audacity to say men are disrespectful towards a woman. You had the moral audacity to say men don't value women. You know, other than my lady and a few family members of my family, I, you know, you know how to be real with a young man today. It, it breaks my, it breaks my my effing heart. That I have to make a video about mystery against men, especially black men. I know this is on throughout social media. They could publicly talk how, part of my terminology, they can. These women had no qualms to say they hate men. They don't value men. They don't appreciate men. Hmm. Huh. But you had a nerve to say men of red pill. You had a. You know. So I'm not partic participating in this gender beef. But American women, you better stop. Cause I'm guaranteed the, the 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 guys after me do not share the same sentimental value garbage that I was unfortunately was raised upon. You know, unfortunately, I was raised upon respect the woman. But for all my growing up, I realized I'm one being treated like garbage. You know what I'm saying? They have they, they're being very insidious against men, and I say insidious how disturbing that is. Like they have nasty attitudes. They look down upon men. I'm like, lady, you just you're disrespecting us. Don't you think we we know it's that? Don't you think that men are you know rightfully so or so retaliate? And I better watch what I say because that could be look at some misogyny and all that. Which is funny. They had no problem with their misogyny against men. But I find it funny if you speak out against this, you become a target. You get targeted by feminist groups, worse than the clan. You know what I'm saying? I find it absolutely funny. How a woman have no problem saying they, they want men gone. You know what I'm saying? They want men dead. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm mostly disgusted. I hate to say that in my own mouth. I say, you hate men, ladies. But in the next breath, we're saying we don't value and protect you. You're right. You, we're not. Well, I don't know about my generation dying out. I'm just turned 34. Practically my mid 30s. I'm dang for I'm out the market because... If I was a modern day man, I would not respect a woman. Look how they t treat men. You know what I'm saying? Especially affects your damn livelihood. And it's not around they've been women that's close to me talking to me like that. So you ain't gonna talk to me like that. But I find it funny they call men misogynists and sexist pigs. Seriously? You better be you're lucky I'm on a conservative note. I find it funny they could they wish, you know, ill upon men. You know, it, it breaks my heart to say a video about this. When I talk to my ladies from Europe, Africa, Asia, and all that, how they really appreciate men. They really call, call me more, call me love, dear, and all that. You know what I'm saying? And they treat me with respect. And that's something I know is why American men are looking outside their countries. You know, damn interracial day. I don't care about interracial day. That stuff is played out. I'm talking international day, global day. Thank you, Winston Wolf, for opening my eyes about this 10 seven years ago. Over 10 seven years ago, I was actually baffled how American women can view men in such a negative disregard, you know. Excuse me. It is borderline baffling and sickening to see a woman 
in America or in the West could look down upon men, but had the next breath saying we don't value and protect our women. Protect your damn selves. You better learn some self-defense classes. Because I, I guarantee you that ge the next generation after me going to be complete brutal savages and degenerates. And you American women, you, you, you're causing the downfall of this. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'll put this all on you. Since you don't appreciate and value men, go protect your damn self. <laughs> or be on milk box, be on missing posters. You know, you write that men start to feel less sentimental towards American women. And I will give you that. Unlike unlike the rest of you guys. I have no problem calling you you witches out. Yes, I say witches. You know what I'm saying? And not in a good way. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna come up in you know, using profanities. But I find it funny, you're participating with the powers that be want you to be. It's a tool. You're just a human toilet. If you don't like what I got to say, oh well. And for the rest of the man, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, whatever, Latino. Don't let these women disrespect you, man. You know, it's actually utterly disgusting to see feminists on social media think it's okay to publicly degrade men. And now they're taking it in real life. They can talk to men in any kind of way. I say, no. Put your foot down. You know, start blocking their messages, block their calls. I say, you're using men that's basically free labor. You know, other disgusted, I know men in color are going to call me a sell Uncle Tom or whatever. Or, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you say you have more respect for the clan than a feminist. I, at least I'm honest about my uh, position. You know what I'm saying? At least you could fight a man. I cannot fight a woman. You know how many times I've been laid off and fired by women facilities? On many different occasions, because I refuse to put it with their garbage. I refuse to let somebody disrespect me, paycheck or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm very thankful for the position that I'm in. They ain't disrespecting me and all that, and I ain't quit or got fired. You know, at this particular time, you know, even the so-called disability services are ran by a woman. You know, look how they view me. I, I was talking to actually, I ride was a brother, a black man. Also, a disability. Say, if you was a woman, you'd be treated like gold. Since you're not a woman, they treat you any kind of way. And I said, that's pretty sad how a woman could be openly prejudiced and mistress against men, but expect support and value. And look, that's that's not reality. That's not gonna happen. I, I'm gonna tell you, these guys after me are savages, and you want to deal with them yourselves, American woman. That's all I gotta say. Shame on mistress woman. Shame on you all.